What's up, Libra? This is Saul. And Libra, we're going to look at your week ahead starting the 15th, 2024. Libra, I hope all is well. Libra, this week, I'll be throwing some cards from the Guardian Angel Messages uh, Tarot to deliver your messages. Also throwing some cards from Lips Don't Lie. And also doing your Oracle uh, message separately on the same video, of course, uh, from the Moonology Oracle deck. All right, so this deck, hey, um, Libra has some words written on it. So I'm just, you know, use the words, of course, but throw in my own impressions so you can use the energies however you want. All right, so let's see what is in store, what's coming up for Libra this week. I appreciate you guys and all the comments that you uh, have been throwing in. Please continue to throw those comments in. I'm still giving away... Uh, gifts okay not reading reversals too by the way energies for Libra for the week of April 15th 15th is the last day of all your taxes so I hope you got your taxes all straight now in, in order all right let's see what's going on here Alright, so we're going to start off Libra with the first card is the Cups Four of Water, which would be the Four of Cups. Alright, so the message is at the bottom here, uh, Libra says, uh, distraction, self-absorption, discontentment. Well, I never read this Four of Cups in that manner, but like I said before, you can use those messages if it applies to you and your situation, but the Four of Cups for me is socializing. Equal number of cups, so the energy that you give this week is what you're going to get back. Some of you may be, um, you know, I always see it like dining out or, you know, being uh, entertained in the restaurants. You know, it could be with family, could be with friends, could be with romantic partners, whatever the situation is. So that is the Four of Cups. Following the Four of Cups, we have the Ten of Air. This is your own energy. So there is a chapter of energy that is closing down for you. And the message is at the bottom says endings, recovery, and freedom. I also read the uh, Ten of Swords um, as, you know, if it's not you, Libra, maybe it's somebody that you know may be having some sort of upcoming inpatient or outpatient surgical procedures. But there is some sort of completion of energy that's ending for you and a new uh, energy is about to open up, usually positive. Next up, we have the page of fire. So there's an instance of some sort of good news coming to you right away that may put a smile on your face. The message is at the bottom of the card. It says creative, enthusiastic, or motivated. So you could be starting a new hobby, beginning stages of some sort of passion um, related to, you know, related to or connected to a new hobby or creative pursuit. It's always a surprise with the page of fire or a page of wands. Next up, we have the eight of air. Eight of air is a worry. Confusion. Well, self-doubt, it says here at the bottom. Confusion and free will. I always, you know, throw in that uh, mindful bit of energy here to be careful of the eight of um, swords here whenever it shows up in your spread because... It oftentimes can be tricky in the sense that, you know, you may be worried about something, confused about something, having some sort of doubts about something specific to a situation, person or event that has yet to occur. So uh, don't play any mind games with yourself. Don't build up that uh, unnecessary energy if you don't have to. But if you are dealing with the Eight of Swords energy, um, just try to work out those energies the best way that you can. You don't want this energy to linger, uh, Libra, because it leads into, you know, the Nine of Swords, which is much worse. I also get a, um, could be a possibility of a break of communication with family members, friends, or romantic partners. Next up, we have the King of Fire. This is the King of Wands. King of Wands here is, you're attracting some sort of energy here, right? Strong. Uh, attraction. The messages at the bottom of the card says uh, inspirational, charismatic, innovative. This is a card that always, um, because it is a court card and represents the king, he's always focused on something or someone, normally going after whatever it is that they're focused on. This card also uh, represents a great deal of uh, intensity, passion, 
definitely sexual energy and sexual expression. Mirrors over here to the page of fire or the page of wands. And it could be for um, any Libras who are very, you know, artistic or creative. You might get some sort of energy boost or surge this week. That energy is going to be coming from the king of wands. Up next now we have the six of water. Okay, six of cups. Again, like the four of cups, what you give is what you're going to get back. Uh, the message is at the bottom, says memories, childhood, nostalgia. So you could be thinking about things from your past related to or connected to your childhood. Oftentimes I read this energy as there's someone that you were, you know, connected to. That could be family, that could be friends, and maybe somebody that you were linked with romantically is thinking of you. Um, I, I'm sorry, I had just had to laugh a little bit, Libra, because somebody had wrote in a comment about that six of cups there. Anyway, um, we won't get into that. Uh, it was a card that showed up for a sign last week, but I don't remember the, you know, which sign it showed up for, but I do remember the message and it was kind of funny anyway. So, you know, um, how this, you know, this energy here works in terms of how I interpret you may be thinking of someone that you may not have had any uh, communication with or haven't seen in a long period of time, which, you know, includes family members, friends, you know, possibly somebody that you were linked with romantically. And you think of them and you throw that uh, thought process out there to um, the universe and it connects to them or it could be the other way around. And this is how the communication uh, transpires. So they may reach out to you and... Um, there shouldn't be any surprises. Also, some Libras may be, uh, you know, memorializing someone that they were once connected to or close to. Now they're over in spirit. Uh, the date's significant to that. Um, and it's not some, you know, the dates aren't, you know, set in stone or anything like that. It could be that it's from the 15th to, I think it's the 21st or the 22nd. That could be related to their passing or their uh, birth or some other significant date connected to that energy. Next up we have the, oh, now we have the uh, Queen of Cups here. So um, the message is at the bottom here, Libra says, loving, giving, and psychic. So this is the mother of all love, nurturing and caring, supportive. Also pay attention to your intuition. Please trust the process of what you experience this week in terms of your gut feelings or the voices that you hear. The Queen is here to help guide you to make the right choices and decisions moving forward. Also, I always uh, say that this could be, you know, since it's female energy, it could represent you, a female Libra. It could represent your mother, your sister, your aunt, your bestie, um, some other important female that may be associated with you. Also, I always read the Queen of Cups as the uh, energy of, since it's a nurturing form of uh, energy, caretaking you know people work in the field of taking care of others and it doesn't necessarily have to uh, relate to you know nursing specific you know always taking care of not always taking care of but always um lending some sort of support and possibly could be taken care of i stand to be corrected there um people who work in that kind of capacity to help others following the queen of cups here now we have oh we got the ten of cups okay so look <laughs> so you have the four of cups, the six of cups, and now you have the ten of cups. So this is an even number of cups again. This is in the form of celebrations, family get-togethers. It could be a wedding. Um, you know, the words or the messages written at the bottom of the card says family, love, and blessings. So there you go. And I do apologize. My voice is kind of raspy. <laughs> I was out doing some volunteer, yeah, volunteer work. It was cold, rainy, and windy. And um, and the reason why the um, videos are going up kind of late there, because I committed myself to helping out, clean up a, a, a cemetery that has sort of like a, a local cemetery that sort of went by the wayside. And it was a community project. So it was a lot of people that showed up and we did a a pretty good job but it was so cold and it was uh damp the rain had stopped but it was just damp um so i think i'm feeling the effects of that 
right now as we speak. So just bear with me in my voice. All right, so the Ten of Cups following that. Oh, you got the sun. You got the blessings. The most powerful card in the tarot deck here, Libra. So I feel, you know, even before I draw the last card here, you guys are going to have, some of you are going to have a very, very wonderful week. The sun represents um, the messages at the bottom, success, recognition, enthusiasm. It is my health card. So some of you may be just, <clears throat> excuse me, going through routine uh, medical exams, x-rays of all kinds fall underneath the energy of the sun. It represents relationships. It could be that I'm speaking to Libras who live in Florida, California, or planning a trip to those destinations or somewhere else that's warm, sunny, and welcoming. If there are any uh, Libras or if it's not someone that you know, um, could be going through some sort of uh, you know, radiation, chemotherapy for cancer treatment, all is going to be well. This card does definitely represent success, feeling vibrant, energized. Uh, um, what else did I want? Feeling childhood, you know? So there is an expectation of some sort of blessings that may come your way. And I wouldn't be too surprised here, Libra, because look at the cards, the energies that you have here so far. Tremendous. So let's keep our fingers crossed here. It's the also the yes answer to all questions that you have for yourself as well. The last card, look at that. Three of Cups. Wow. So Libra, Three of Cups, the message is at the bottom, says celebration, community, and friendship. So it's celebrating birthdays, like Ten of Cups, anniversaries, just, you know, spending that quality time and uh, cross mirrors over here to the four of cups when I said that you could be just you know eating out at restaurants um, spending that quality time with family members friends romantic partners it could be spending time with co-workers after work for happy hour but there is a reason to celebrate this week Libra remember you have the page of wands that I said there was an expect expectancy of some sort of good news that may put a smile on your face and it's coming in very very fast too all right, so this is, uh, I should be drinking tea instead of coffee, but this is your messages uh, for this week here. Not too bad. So let's throw some cards here from um, Lips Don't Lie, see what they want to say. And you can use these messages however you want, Libra. Okay, <clears throat> messages for Libra. I don't know how these cards get turned over like this. All right, messages for Libra. Here's another one, a couple of them. Jeez. All right, I'm just going to shuffle. Messages for Libra. All right, so the first message here for you, Libra, is uh, karmic vibes. This one says here, this connection comes with a valuable lesson. You are being triggered to learn self-love and respect. You are being pushed to move forward in your life. The key to this type of connection is to pay attention and identify blind spots. Learn the lesson and get out yeah, and get out of there. Next one up says uh, radar. You're getting a lot of attention from suitors. Someone may notice you all of a sudden. You are shining brighter than ever and will find people are strongly attracted to you now. I like that one. Next message is psychic connection. Two people share a psychic bond. This connection is so strong that you may share thoughts, feelings, dreams, and be able to feel when they are near or when something happens to them. There is something extra spiritual about this connection. That might be connected to the Six of Cups. Uh, the last one I have for you is 143, and it says here, your person's feelings have developed into love. They have gone through the stages of infatuation, crushes, etc. They are sure about their feelings, which no longer can be denied. They love you. All right, so this is your uh, energy for this week here, Libra. Again, I apologize for my voice. Um, just take what's going to work for you. Uh, as you know, this is just me interpreting the uh, energies here for you. Please like the video, share the video, comment, throw those comments in. Uh, have a safe, great week ahead. 
always come back here and get more of these beautiful messages. Remember to stay smiling, and I will talk to you soon. Hey, Bye. This is Soul, back again for your uh, Moonology Oracle message to complement your reading uh, for this week, April 15, 2024. All right, so what is the Moonology message for Libra? Your Moonology uh, Oracle message is work through fears. It says new moon in Scorpio. And let's see what that message uh, says exactly for you, Libra. Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. This card suggests a rebirth. Think of your situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes. As the birth, death, rebirth paradigm. That's what Scorpio energy is all about. Whatever you've been through, there's a new start ahead. It might be a little dark. It almost certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns, but it will be deep and transforming. This card also suggests that if you know you are magical, then this is the time to work your magic. It can also herald the start of a sexier, sexier time. If you've been experiencing something of a drought and emotional intimacy is also on the menu, Scorpio is the sign that likes to go deep into body, mind, and spirit. So when this card comes up, there's nothing superficial about what's coming your way. All right, so that's your um, oracle message, Moonology. This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot, uh, Libra. Enjoy your week ahead. Stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.